Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Master Trainer Battles. We are going to show you guys exactly how to beat the Machop Master Trainer, the Machoke Master Trainer, and the Machamp Master Trainer on this episode. It's going to be jam-packed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for smashing that like button, and thanks for sharing. This was a really fun series, and I love playing Pokemon. Now, let's talk about how hard this one's going to be. Let's talk about how hard this one's going to be. It'll be relatively tough because Machop, Machamp, Machoke, their move pools are more physically oriented, if anything. And they they got some pretty hard hitting moves. So anyway, we're going to find out. In case you guys did not see, we're over here in Saffron City, home of Sabrina. Uh, from the Pokemon Center, head all the way over to Silphco. And then I know as soon as I say the word Silphco, you just will roll your eyes at it. Gizmo is rolling his eyes. I just heard him right now. Um, yeah, I know the whole maze and the whole, like, 11 floors of nonsense. Don't worry, it's only in floor 4, and I'll show you guys exactly where to go. So, floor 4. That's where you go. Hi, Boldman. Alright, well, Gizmo says it wasn't too bad. So, floor 4 is where we're going to find our first Master Trainer, and I'll show you guys my moveset that I'm going to be using in order to beat this. Now, a lot of these Master Trainer episodes, we're focusing on not necessarily using heart skills for older moves or focusing on using candies in order to outspeed. You definitely don't need to do any of that stuff. Uh, if you have some quick candies floating around, by all means use them uh, because you're going to need a little bit of speed on this one. So let's take a look. Here's the Machop guy. I'll show you guys my Machop and then we're going to go from there. I got a level 97 Machop right over here. It's an adamant nature, alert to sounds. Adamant nature may help you out with the offensive prowess. But we're not going to be using any offensive prowess on this one. So you don't necessarily need that nature. Take a look at my speed stat here. It's 121. And ironically enough, the speed stat that we need to beat for this enemy Machop is 120. So we are naturally going to outspeed it and do some work. Whenever we're able to outspeed, we can easily run the substitute, protect, dig, toxic uh, entire strategy in order to stall out the opposing Pokemon. So... That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, there's so many different ways that you can take on this battle. You can use Focus Energy, if you still have that available from way back when in Machop's move pool. Uh, Focus Energy Karate Chop, you can absolutely use. You can use uh, Headbutt, if you wanted to. Thunder Punch Headbutt, do a little paralysis. You can use Ice Punch, in order to get the freeze. You can do Fire Punch, in order to get the burn, and then continue wailing on them. You can run Earthquake. You can run bulk up. There's so many different strats that you guys can use, but right now I think my safest strat is going to be Toxic Salt. It's the tried and true. It's the one that always works. So let's see exactly how well we do this battle. So I'm going to start off with Toxic. And according to this Machop, according to this Machop, he is more geared towards um, defense, attack, and HP, and speed a little bit. So here's a poison attack. That's not too bad. No, no, we win. That's GG's. Alright, yeah, no, we're fine. So I'm gonna use a protect. That'll give us that'll buy us one turn. So he can bulk up predicting that. Or he's gonna continuously go for that poison jab. So as you guys can see over here, we're really just gonna stall him out and make sure that we get our substitute up. If we went for dig. We would have gotten hit upon um, coming out. So this is good. He's going to bulk up all he wants. That's perfectly fine. It gives us a free sub. So that's great. This is already working out to our advantage here. Okay, so now that we're back at square one, I could easily press protect again. And by doing that, he can either bulk up again, which is smart. Because if he sees the protect coming, he might as well do it. But his moveset is Thunder Punch, Poison Jab, Bulk Up. That's all he has. So whenever you can do a move on his bulk up, you're going to have the advantage. So now, instead of going for the dull protect, I'm going to go for the dig. Because by the time I emerge, he's probably going to be KO'd by poison. And then we win. It's easy. So you guys can absolutely replicate this strategy with any Machop, I feel. As long as you have the speed stat for it and you can, and you can take one of his hits. So a Machop with a speed stat of 120 can do it. And someone with a more defensive option to take at least 50 damage. 
And of course, there's a lot of luck involved too with what moves he chooses. So we did that one super simple. I don't think that we're going to be too afraid of everyone else. Masahiro Sakurai. All right, but how? Your Machop is more powerful than I've ever seen before. You are truly worthy of the Machop Master title. Excellent job. So the Machop Master title is ours. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go fly over to Cerulean. And then once we fly over to Cerulean, I should be able to catch a couple chances, get my Machop leveled up to Machoke. And we should be good. Oh, I don't want to quit the elevator. No, we should be good to, to find the next person. So... Give me a couple moments. I will. Uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side of this cut. Hopefully, it doesn't take me that long. I think I only need like maybe three thousand experience. I've been, I've been raising this guy like a little bit off screen as to like not get him to level up. So it'll be a little bit easier on me. All right, here we go. We'll see you guys. Okay, ladies and gents. After catching that Graveler, we now have a Machop that is going to evolve into a Machoke. I'm excited. I don't think that my Machop is going to go from 120 speed to 170 speed. So we're going to be at a disadvantage going into this next battle. Case in point, the enemy Machoke has 169 speed. Great. All right, so there's our Machoke. Here's a random Graveler that we're gonna send over to the Professor, and we should be all set and ready to go find this one over in Fuchsia City. Use an escape rope, get out of here, spin around the circle. And let's go. We're gonna go all the way over to Fuchsia City. Right over here, town map. Use the item, Fuchsia, Fuchsia, Fuchsia. is all the way on the bottom. So, Machoke has the moveset of Poison Jab, Fire Punch, Bulk Up. So if we get burnt, that's unfortunate. We don't have any attacking moves, so we're going to be okay. Uh, the guy is going to be right over here inside this house. And we're going to see... No, okay, maybe not this house. Maybe the next house. That's where you're going to get a free nugget every day from that Diglet. So, in case you guys are into that, of doing the daily tasks, go for it. This guy. Okay, so Machoke is here. I'll show you guys my Machoke stats so that you guys can take a look. All right, Machoke, 142 speed. Wah, wah. So I'm going to be outsped, of course. Uh, and he's going to either bulk up, fire punch, poison jab. But of course, using this moveset, I think we should be able to toxic stall him out. My defensive stat is pretty decent. So I'm hoping that I can uh, take this uh, next shot pretty easily. So looking at Machoke over here, I mean, he's got a lot of 150 awakening values in defense, 120 in HP and attack, and then 80 in speed. So of course he's got a little bit of speed on him. All right, come here. There can only be one. So I'm going to start off with Toxic. Poison Jab. That's not bad. Oh, come on. That's actually really bad. And I got poisoned. Man, get out of here. All right, this is... this is No, we're not taking this. No, if I get poisoned, it's over. If he gets poisoned, it's fine, right? See that double standard right there? It's not going to work. So, I'm going to run. It's kind of like that uh, Alakazam freeze, dude. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ryuji! No more of that hacks, please, Ryuji. I just need to get my Toxic off, and then go. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'll take the bulk up all day. Will I, though? I don't know if I necessarily want that. Now he's gonna be doing a lot more hurt. But, that means it's a free Toxic, and I could start doing the sub-stalling. So, I think we're good. I think we're absolutely good. Check this out. 
So now that we got lucky and he did bulk up first turn, I'm able to protect, for starters. If he wants to bulk up, he can. It's probably be best if he did. Okay, poison jab, good. Dodge that easily. I'm gonna go for the sub. I'm gonna go for the substitute. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. I, you know, I will have enough for it. Oh, and he bulk up. But that's fine, because now we're fine. We have a free sub. We have a free sub and we have Dig at our disposal, and he's already poisoned, so GG's, dude. We got him on the right, uh, the right moves. He just allowed us to set up on him, so this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Here we go, so now I'm gonna go for Protect. Done. He can hit me if he wants to, or he can bulk up one more time. Yeah, dude, get to plus six. Go ahead, I dare you. I dare you to get to plus six. See what happens, buddy. Okay, and then now we need only two more turns, so I'm gonna go for Substitute. I know I already have one, but might as well go. Because he's gonna break it, so I might as well put up another one. Okay, so now that we knew he was gonna break our sub, we're gonna put up another one. In order to stall out another turn. And then that is going to be it for that turn of Poison, and then of course right over here we can do Protect. So, ladies and gents. You can do this! You can do this without getting hit by a single poison jab. If you got the, the lucky rolls and everything like I kinda did, with a very, very low level Machamp. There we go. Or sorry, Machoke. Sorry. You can do it with a low level Machoke. With the lowest level possible Machoke, you find one in the wild, you can do this strat. 100% guaranteed. You need a little bit of luck, but you can absolutely do it. Okay, so Machoke Master, we got it, super cool. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the Vermilion City Machamp Master, and then we're gonna do a quick trade in order to get our Pokemon evolved into Machamp. And I'm hoping that we can replicate the exact same strat and then win as well. So here's Vermilion. Uh, let's go find the Machamp Master Trainer. I will summon upon some friends and see if they're able to quickly trade this Machoke and then trade him back, and we should be okay, so. Here's Vermilion City, here is the Machamp Master Trainer, and then of course uh, I'll see you guys after the cut where we're gonna show you guys uh, our brand new Machamp. We'll see you in a little Okay, well, here it comes. Our freshly evolved Machamp. So, as you guys can see, all you have to do is get a buddy, trade over your Machoke, and then trade it back and it'll be a Machamp for you. So you're all set. Superpower Pokemon, shout out to Aiden for helping out with that. So we're ready to go. I want to take a look at these stats and uh, see exactly what is going on with this Machamp. Now, keep in mind that the enemy Machamp will be fast. It'll be very fast. So I doubt that your Machamp is going to outspeed unless you've heavily invested in candies. And like I said earlier, we're not doing any candy investments here. So I've got 162 speed. The enemy Machamp is going to be right around the 271 speed stat. So I'm going to continue on with this exact moveset. Of course, there are many other options of what you can do in order to combat this guy. But this guy's got Brick Break, Headbutt, and then Bulk Up. So I'm kind of afraid of the Headbutt flinches. I'm not afraid of Brick Break. Brick break. And maybe if we can get him to bulk up first turn, and or whenever we're using a sub, we can uh, toxic stall him out. So anyway, that's my Machamp. Let's see exactly how we do it. Now, I've said that Machoke you can do in the wild. You can catch a wild Machoke and beat him. I want to say you can do the exact same thing here, but I don't think you find Machamps in the wild. Okay, here we go. Eight arms on the battlefield, maybe 9, 10, 11, 12 arms. Pikachu's arms, 14 arms on the battlefield. I don't even know. All right, here we go. Let's get that Toxic up. Brick Break is his strongest move. Oh my gosh, that's one third of my health. Uh, it's maybe like a fourth. Okay, so we're gonna... Ooh, maybe he's gonna predict the... I'm not gonna... No, we're not gonna. I'm just gonna protect. You know, it's the safest bet. Let's just protect. If he goes for the bulk up, then good on him for predicting that. Ah, oh, dang it. It's fine. 
I don't know if I'm gonna have enough health now to take this and get a sub up. So there's that. I mean, you could always try for the double protect, but right now it's not gonna happen. My champ, Brick Break. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for a sub. Oh, I do not have enough for a sub, GG's. And unless he's gonna bulk up right now, I got nothing. I'm gonna play it out because there's a chance that he might do that. Okay, so he might bulk up now. I don't know why he would, but if he does bulk up, I win. If he does hit me, I lose. Ah, okay, fine, fine. You can take the first round, dude. Take the first round. Wow, that's bad. So, interesting. Interesting. So, what he did was he did Brick Break and then Bulk Up. I mean, that's fine. But I need to predict a... I need to do a sub on a predicted Bulk Up in order to get the advantage here. And if I can figure that out, I'll be good. But we're playing against AI here. There's no... There's nothing that you can do against that. And there's no set pattern. So, I gotta get the Toxic up ASAP. Toxic, uh, bulk up first turn, that's pretty good. I don't know if he's gonna bulk up twice though. And that's kinda what I wanna find out here. If I do protect and he hits it with the brick break, then we're fine, that, that's beautiful. And that gives us one turn of poison for free. But if he bulks up again while I got the protect on, it's over. I'm just gonna go sub. For another bulk up. Bulk up, bulk up, bulk up. Yo, no! Ah, uh, B, brick break, bulk up. Ah, lame. I don't have enough for it, so uh, I might as well... You know what? I think we may win this one. I think we may win this one. Watch. Because I'm going to go for the protect. Go for the protect, and maybe... I don't know what he's going to do. It could. It doesn't matter what he does. Oh, that's a free... No, that's not a free sub. That's a free bulk up for him. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay, so that's poison. Okay, so now if I dig... If I dig, I could potentially win, depending on how much damage I do. So here we go. The sub is gone. I'm gonna burrow underneath. Oh, no, I do win. Yeah, I do win. No, I win this one. Because he's going to attack nothing. And then I'm going to hit him with a baby dig. And then I can protect the next turn. And just win. Oh, dude, no, that's fine, man. That's easy streak. Come on. Or the poison's gonna get him. Wow. Okay, Black Belt Randy. That's some real strength. Yeah, it was. But, I mean, we just carefully played around you. Luckily, he did bulk up first so that we can get no damage in that first one. So you're truly worthy of the title of Machamp Master. Yay! That's pretty good. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we showed you guys exactly how to locate all of the Master Trainers for Machop, Machoke, Machamp. And we showed you guys easy strategies on how to beat them with no candy investments whatsoever. So that was good. I would say the macho, The Machop... You know what? All of them... You're just going to need to be able to take at least one hit. I think that the Machoke one you can do pretty easily. Actually, all of these, man. You can do all of these very easily. I think you could do them with the wild Pokemon, too. Uh, just looking at how we were able to get lucky with whatever rolls that I did, I, I definitely want to say that you can do it. So, Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Next up on our list of Pokemon is going to be... Drum roll, please. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so Machop, Machoke, Machamp. Oh, dang. So next up is going to be Bellsprout. Wow, Bellsprout. Okay, I'm actually worried about Bellsprout's battle because we're not going to be able to Toxic Stall with Bellsprout. So, guys, that's going to be a tough one, but we're going to have to use our wit and our... Pokemon knowledge in order to beat it. So I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for being here. Let me know in the comment section which strategies you guys used in order to beat these master trainers. And no, pumping your Pokemon full of candies doesn't count. Of course anyone can do that. And look like a champ in one shot all these guys. No, 
that's not what we're talking about. Give me some different strategies without candy and then we'll go from there. Can't wait to read all your comments. Uh, you can find the newest video on the channel that way. Watch our playlist here. Recommendations there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want you guys on board for when we start playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see you guys for that one. Become a member and you'll have exclusive uh, access to our members only game nights and the Abdala Nation emoji among many other perks. So click on the join button on my main channel page or click this link right over here and you'll be all set. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.